Welcome to the monthly update of October 2023. <clears throat> I realized recently that I'm already doing those for quite a long time. I don't know, I think one and a half years. Um, and it's super cool. I can go back and see what happened in any month in the last one and a half years. It's so cool. Um, so I'm going to start with the biggest news, which is that we moved to Lisbon, we have our own apartment, and I wanna start giving a tour, because it's not fully furnished yet, but this is kind of a snapshot of how this apartment looks like, what is it, two and a half, three weeks in or so. So let's, I'm gonna keep talking while I'm gonna give the tour. So this is our bathroom, we got this little thing here, we have a cool mirror with a cool button here. Boop. Um, the shower has a problem that some weird smell comes out of the train. So we might have, or our landlord might have to remove the whole thing to fix it. Um, this is our bedroom. The big rug that goes underneath the bed is ordered. Ah, look at this beautiful tree. The sun is shining. There's so much light coming in. There will be a meditation corner, another round rug probably. Uh, we have AC in all the rooms. We have tons of storage. And uh, then there's a second tiny bathroom. Then this is our office, which will get a couch here to do coaching sessions here, maybe some healing sessions. Um, and then there will be a whiteboard so we can brainstorm and have like our KPIs and whatnot all like here on the wall. And this is also gonna be the guest bedroom. So this will be a convertible couch. And then we have those standing desks that are not electronic, um, but they work pretty well so far from Ikea. And yeah, I mean, check this out. Whew. Windows all the way down to the bottom, the rugs. Actually, we haven't ordered any, it's, yeah, we, no, we don't have any rugs yet for here. Um, yeah, I'm also not 100% sure yet if we will have to set up like this, because then if one of us does a video call, the other person in the background, and we can't really look uh, to the same screen so easily. So we'll see. This is for Apollo's, Apollo, Diara's dog uh, that she has together with her ex-partner and that we are going to have probably every other week or so. This is the entry area. This mirror might go like this or like this. Here will be a little thing for our shoes. Um, and then we get into the living room. Those are all the boxes of stuff that we had in storage in Germany that is now here. We got the first few plants. Um, we ordered this rug initially for the kitchen, but it's a little bit too small for there. So let's see what happens with that. And then we have our beautiful balcony here where we also need some furniture. Uh, maybe you put wood down here. We bought some kind of, yeah, this is not, not all the way properly attached. Yeah, and then we have this beautiful view. You can see the ocean back there, the river. Yeah, and this is my favorite tree here. I love this tree. Oh, yeah, and we ordered a couch that will go here. It's not an L coach, it's just a coach like this. So we can have um, some other chairs and things to make maybe even a big circle if we have friends over or we do some events here. And this couch is actually too large for the entry door because there's the elevator right across the door. So we hope that they can bring it in through the balcony with a crane. Yeah, big mirror here so we can do workouts and stuff in front of the mirror. And then this is the kitchen. Super beautiful, amazing kitchen. We have a laundry room. Actually gonna close the door. our rubbish. We still have to get water in those plastic containers, unfortunately, because we don't yet have a 
water filter system. So we're gonna get one that goes underneath here and then we will have a second tab with the drinking water because this water is full of chlorine. Um, yeah, and then this is our little dining area slash co-working area where we sit quite a lot. Um, we have <laughs> we have ordered a new rug because this one, Diara really likes it. I'm not a huge fan. It's a little little rough, but I'm also getting used to it more and more. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So now let's do the rest of the video. Let's see if, if this works. Boom. Ooh, nice sky in the background. Is this, am I in the frame? You sure are. Okay. Yeah, so we moved to Lisbon. It feels really great to be here. Um, okay. It was such a back and forth with this apartment. So we were in the US before this and we hired um, a realtor to help us find the apartment. And then we got the, we found this and then with the landlords, it was a back and forth. And it was interesting because in those moments, we thought maybe it's not supposed to happen. You know, maybe it's a sign of the universe or whatnot, but no, I think it wasn't, you know, it's just, <laughs> it was a little bit slow, the process. And there are some things that, yeah, didn't go super smooth, but this feels like the perfect apartment for us. Like we both love it so much and it's not even fully furnished. So it's just going to get better. Um, yeah. So I guess the message is, if we really want something, then sometimes it makes sense to just stay at it and try to make it happen and, you know, not let any signs of the universe be like, oh, okay, maybe this is not supposed to happen. Um, cause I see people doing this quite a lot, you know, where there's a little bit of difficulties and then they're like, ah, maybe it should go all smooth. Maybe not, you know, maybe sometimes things just are not super smooth, smooth and it's perfectly fine that way. Mm. Cool. So that's that. Obviously, um, it took or takes a lot of time to buy furniture, go to the stores, try out this, go online, do research. What do we want? Um, so yeah, it has been just a lot of work, also a lot of fun work to, to do all of those things. but. That has been a big part of my life in the last months. Um, and then of course, LBB, our business building program. We're um, just over the halfway mark now. And yeah, I would say it's going really well. Of course, there are ups and downs, people feeling really great, and then people struggling to put their program together. Um, but that's a totally normal part of the process. Um, soon, we're gonna get into the launch phase which is super exciting to, for people to actually talk to people and make their first sales. Mm. We're also now starting to prepare the next uh, cohort, which will start at the end of January. And so, you know, putting up content, educating people, um, building up some, some hype. And then in a few weeks, we will kind of open the application process and take on the yeah, the new group of people. I really want to hire um, an assistant. I think, yeah, having someone who's taking care of some of the behind the scene, behind the scenes things would be super useful for us. Um, so that Diara and me, we can both be more in our zone of genius. Um, one of the things that I'm very excited about is using more go high level, which is this all in one platform where you can build really cool systems and automations. Um, also that takes time to learn that, to set it up, to experiment and so on. But yeah, we're making progress. One of the things that we started doing is those LinkedIn events and we will have the third one, um, I think in a week exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think it's going to be a super amazing event. Uh, we called it how to get your first consulting client. But I'm also wondering if doing those live events is really the best strategy for us to um, support people for free and to 
help them get a feeling for us because it is quite expensive on their side. They need to block out time, they need to be there, it's, it's live, it's in person. Um, whereas we could also do something shorter just as a video that they can watch anytime and it also provides value. So yeah, also that is an experiment. Mm, cool, last topic I think is health and fitness. So we brought all our supplements from the US to Lisbon. Um, we bought two more things, so now we just need one medication and one other supplement thing uh, that we either maybe can find here or our health consultant will send it to us from Thailand. Um, and then we can actually start and now it's like Christmas time is coming soon, so are we wanting to do our strict diet during Christmas or not? I don't know, we haven't decided yet, but it's happening soon. Um, the personal training sessions are going pretty well. I yeah, I can I definitely feel stronger, I see some changes, so that's still really motivating. Um, yeah. Yeah, life is really good. We had a really good landing here. The second weekend we were here, or basically the first one we arrived on a Saturday, um, a friend of us like celebrated her birthday and rented a house somewhere in the nature of Portugal. And it just felt so good to connect with really cool people and also have like a little mini holiday. And then we both joined a paid um, membership club community um, that brings together locals and foreigners, 1000 people in total, so 500 foreigners, 500 locals. And there was a lot of events. I went to Paddle yesterday. Um, yeah, and there are some really interesting people who are all interested in deep, meaningful connections. And so that's cool. I feel like we're going to have a really amazing network of friends and, and people here very soon. Um, there was one other thing I just forgot. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. That's it for this month update. Um, yeah, life is amazing. Uh, it feels good to finally arrive somewhere after traveling for so long. And talk to you next month. Bye.